I want to ask you about uh, what resources are available. This question really is about how should other people um, find help? How can they find help? What, what should they look out for? What have you come across that other people might find useful if they were starting from scratch right now? I found it difficult to do dinner when I first went home emotionally and didn't know where to go. But I thought as time went on, when I went to a check-up, that I would get emotional support from the doctors and the consultants. But it's not like that. They're brilliant at what they do. They're there to check if the cancer come back. But they don't deal with it on a daily basis. They have to look elsewhere <coughs> for that support. But they don't always know it's there to begin with. But the more we see people like the street therapists who are fantastic, mm. they put me onto the support group, mm -hmm. they put me onto the neck massage, and these kinds of people have got time to talk to, but the support group is fantastic. There's also the psycho-oncologist at the Royal, yes, who our, I've seen as well, service, fantastic. Yes. The help is there, mm. it is all there, but as I say, they don't know that to begin with. Mm. Then they should really do with it as soon as they come home. They don't know where to, to look or they look to the husband, and, but they can only do this so much. They don't know how they feel, but it is there. So one issue is being up, whether it's offered, another issue is really asking if you need it. Be feeling able to ask your clinician or yeah, your GP yeah, or your... Yeah, to ask. And that, I thought I didn't at first. I didn't really at first because I thought I got my husband and my friends. But then the spit says, he says, do you want to vote the support group? Do you want to see the cycle on holidays? And I said, yes, to everything. <laughs> because I hadn't had it before. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And for me, it's been brilliant, especially the support group. The people like the self. Yeah. And then it's fantastic people and it goes on from there. Well, let's talk for a second about those support groups yeah. because support groups can come in various formats. But one common format is to meet with other patients yeah. with either mixed or similar cancers, it depends on yeah. the group, and be able to talk about your situation, hear about theirs. Is it scary, thinking about people watching this, to hear what other people are going through when you're facing your own problems? <laughs> It's not, but when you hear the other people that the cancer come back, that is scary. Mm. But I don't want to dwell on it because I could. Mm. Because I've seen it now myself, the certain ones, the cancer come back, if I have operations of them, gone through all the treatment, and I would hate that. I'd hate to go through it all again. So I'm trying very hard not to think about it too much. Because it was just ruining everything where I got to. I could get quite depressed about it. But I suppose I think, because where I am now, I'm thinking positive, it might treat it at day. It might stop it from coming back. That's my thinking anyway. Well, that's a theory, isn't it? That it, by yeah. thinking positively, then um, the, it can combat the cancer directly. Perhaps. But if nothing else, it makes yeah. you feel more like going out. It makes you... Um, appreciate life a bit more. Yeah. It makes other people able to interact with you in a way that they find easier than yeah. if you're down all the time. So although it's not um, a straightforward thing to just think positively, uh, if by chance you do, if you get the right help and you are thinking more positively, overall it tends to push things much further forward for oh, you. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and they don't think it will, but it does. Mm. Oh, definitely. Yeah.